Edward Cabrera gets a chance to face the Cubs for the second time this season. No hits in five innings. Back in August, his first start off the IL. On the season, a 270 ERA so far this year, and this is 12th start. Ian Happ lifts this one. Left field, long run for Encarnacion, and it's going to be Miguel Rojas to make the play. Coming out of nowhere, reaching back to make the catch. That was an excellent catch. Two balls and two strikes on Jan Gomes, who's got more of the playing time with Wilson Contreras on the IL. This one to third. And Groshans makes the play. The left-hander Wade Miley getting the start, his seventh start of the season. A lot of cutters and change-ups. He likes to mix it up. But that cutter, that's his pitch. I'm looking to drive the ball to right center field. That's going to keep me on the inside part of that baseball for that cutter. LeBlanc on 0 1, smokes one toward the gap, right center field. That's going to get down on the track and bounce up over the wall for a ground rule double. So Charles LeBlanc must like hitting against the Cubs. He was 6 for 10 with two doubles at Wrigley back in August. Now 7 for 11 with three extra base hits against Chicago pitching. But a chance with a runner in scoring position right back to Miley. And they've got LeBlanc caught up. Payoff pitch to Velasquez is swung at and missed. And Cabrera gets him with a changeup, his first strikeout in the game. Here's Morell now with two outs, bases empty. He swings and crushes one out towards left center field. That one back, that's on its way, it's gone! Morell unloads as he circles the bases, home run number 14. And the Cubs with a 1-0 lead, a no-doubter. So McKinstry takes over at first, and here's Ian Happ. And now Happ rips one into the right field corner. Going to dig it out as Anderson. Racing towards third, McKinstry, they're going to send him. Here's the throw to the plate. Save! McKinstry gets his hand in underneath the Fortes, and it's two zip. Back to the top of the order here for the Marlins, John Birdie. Now a drive out to left. This one is hit deep, and that is gone. A home run for John Birdie. Marlins cut that deficit in half. Oh, baby, Birdie needed that one. He has been struggling at the plate, and boy, he turned on it. Ground ball to shortstop. Hustling down the line, and the throw just a little bit high from Morrell and LeBlanc is in there safely. Cooper wrapped into a fielder's choice his first time. Line drive, caught! McKinstry on the dive. Hit it right into the shift. You yes. see where he is. Yes, this, he is can. this is what a shift will look like next year. Yep. So That's Garrett it. Cooper can't go home and say, well, that would have been a base hit next year. Yep. That's still an out. Now two on and two out for Nick Fortes. Fortes broken back rounder off the bag at third. It pops in the air. Fielded by Bodie, everybody's safe. Back going one way, ball going the other. And it'll go as a single for Fortes. Jeez. Wow. The bat traveled further than the ball. So Miley in a jam right here with two outs. Bases loaded, two down for Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz in the air, right center. This one's hit well, and it's gone! Grand slam, Brian De La Cruz! The guy you want up in this spot just came through. On 1-1, one, one, Encarnacion lines went into center field. That's going to fall in for a hit. Around second and putting on the brakes, Groshans. Marlins have the first two men aboard against Miley, trying to extend this three-run lead in the fourth inning. 3-1 pitch to Birdie is a hot smash up the middle and a base hit into center field. They'll wave Groshans around third, coming home, throws up the line. Now trying for third base, making it Encarnacion on an RBI single by John Birdie. 6-2 Marlins. Well, this is a slider that stayed up in the zone again. It was a get-me-over one, and Birdie did a really nice job. You see, just hits it straight up the middle. Out of the read of, reach of McKinstry. Nice job of Roshan scoring. Now Charles LeBlanc. He's on the move. It gets by Gomes and Encarnacion is in the score. 7 to 2 Miami. Estrada has the sign. Another 2 2 to De La Cruz. Swing and a miss. 
Well, after walking the first guy that he faced, three straight strikeouts. He gets Cooper, Fortez, and De La Cruz. And the Marlins leave him loaded. So here's Zach McKinstry, 0 for 1 with a hit by pitch and a run scored. Line drive, base hit, and that's going to roll out there left center field. Good job by De La Cruz to cut it off. Here's Hermosillo to the plate. Safe at the plate. And Michael comes in to score. McKinstry with an RBI double, and the Cubs get a run back. Here's Nick Fortes. Fortes one for three, a single and a run scored. Make it two for four as he lines one just past the diving shortstop. Base hit left field. Morell couldn't get it. One two to De La Cruz is a liner over shortstop. Another hit for Brian. He's two for four tonight. One two pitch back up the middle. Miguel Rojas has his third hit in the game. Fortes windmilled around third. He's coming home and it's 8 3 Marlins. This was a slider. You see the slider was just a cement mixture. It was a backup slider. It was supposed to be down in the way. And, you know, it was like a little tennis tennis match there. You know, a little return serve and hits it up the middle. Here comes Charles LeBlanc with birdie at first. Nobody out. 2 2 to LeBlanc is in the air to left and deep. Haps going back at the wall. Goodbye! Charles LeBlanc with his fourth major league homer. And the Marlins open it up. It's 10 to 3. Center field, Hermosillo back. And oh, what a catch! Michael Hermosillo absolutely robbed De La Cruz. I don't know that it was getting out, but I mean spectacular. Hermosillo at third, Morrell at second, and McKinstry, the runner, at first. Do it again on 3 2. Here it comes from Nardi. Cold strike three at the bottom of the zone. It's a Marlins win. A little nail biting in the ninth inning, but Nardi gets the job done. Marlins crank out three home runs, including a grand slam from Brian De La Cruz. And they win this one 10 to 3, so they will go for their third straight win tomorrow. Haven't had a three game win streak since early July when they won six in a row.